had loaded in to a 2x server on a Friday night with a simple, simple mission. Just get as loaded as I possibly can in the shortest amount of time possible. Sounds easy, right? Well, we're about to find out. Let's try and get safe zone and at least like get a starter down or something temporary, do you know what I mean? So I'm not heading straight back to the beach every time I die. Heater and a battery, wow. I have thought about, that might be the way to do it actually, you know. Maybe go a little bit further north and build in the snow, maybe. Let's get to, let's go to outpost first and see how we stand. Maybe building the snow is the one because certain amounts of the electronic blueprints, the the switch it oh jesus christ that was quiet and creepy oh why is there a silent bear just hanging out there right okay there's outpost okay Make it into outpost, we're safe. There'll be some barrels around that have got some some kind of cloth in it somewhere. We'll just run we'll run a loop round outpost. Just get as much as we can from these cars and scrap piles and whatever. Road signs. Mace will do. This is like the least exciting part of Rust, isn't it? Just trying to get your base down at the beginning. I do like the fact that these maces are like one hit for any barrel now, though. I'm going to try and jump straight to tier two if I can, because I have got SARS and Tommy's already learned materials together early. I could be roaming with guns quite early on, which would be nice. Okay, let's go and get something down. Where are we? Yeah, let's head up to see what's up on this hill. Maybe I'll go the other side. Road scientists are the only thing that I wish they would take away, actually, saying that. I do wish they'd get rid of them. They're, they're just, they're, there's no point to them. Let's just get over here, out of the way of them. Let's just go on here. Right on there. Let's put a high one there. Okay, we are somewhat secure for the time being, which is a little bit of a bonus, not going to lie. So I'm going to stash all this lot, so I'm not going to end up skint or dead or back on the beach. Uh, so I'm going to put the door frame here and there. Okay, so that's those, and then we'll do a couple wooden doors, a couple locks. Um, I need to go get some more stone, but I need a small box as well. Locks, safe-ish. Okay. Yeah, you can honeycomb it, yeah, which I will do shortly. Get the bags down. And then I'll put one in for Rusty if he's coming as well. 
I don't know if he is. Having got the bare bones of the base down, I headed out to grab some more stone which I needed to finish upgrades and for upkeep and then hit the local gas station to see what scrap, components and other bits and pieces I could find there. Could I hear someone or was that just me shuffling? I think that was just me shuffling around, wasn't it? Small run. This, this is one of the things that I've learned recently with this game. Small runs pay dividends, like big time. Not getting greedy, just getting a few bits, couple crates, couple whatevers, so just run them back. Especially if you're solo, like it's it makes such a difference. Not like continuously losing stuff is. It's essential if you don't it, like if you want to keep your sanity. It's, it's hard to train yourself into it, like not getting greedy, not going for that extra crate, that extra whatever it is that you've seen, you know. But once you get yourself into that mindset of like sometimes less is more, it's like the results change rapidly. Yeah, screw you, screw you, buddy. A lot of cloth outside my base, so I'm not mad about that. Why does it let you keep empty tuna cans in there? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so that can stay in there. Let's get this airlock done. sharpish but for the time being it'd be alright okay we're looking pretty good we are looking pretty good we've got is it 550 scrap we need for a tier 2 is that right 520 HQ 500 scrap oh I might have it oh, I don't have the frags okay so that's all for the recycler I'll have to check in a minute see if I've got those windows learned I think I do Oh, DB in a crate, come on now. That'll do. Should I research that DB? I probably should, shouldn't I? It's such low health. Yeah, research that and then I've got some... Oh no, I've just recycled my points. But at least I can make some more later if I need to. Right, tier one. So let's craft one of them. So... Officially at 1 minute 19 seconds exact, uh, 1 hour 19 minutes exactly. Tier 2. That feels like progress. That feels like good progress as well. Um, right, so what do I need now? I need, I need HQM. I need scrap. I need a lot of scrap. I need a lot of HQ. Um, and I need metal frags. That place has fully decayed, isn't it? Oh, I wonder if there's anything in it. A little decayed juicer. Come on. There's no TC though, so I can, I can steal some large boxes. God, someone's picked this clean, man. Some little bits here and there are not, like every little helps, you know, especially when you're getting started. We can have a proper roam now. Have a proper roam, see what's going on. The lowest health revy in the whole world as well. Right, where should we go? Let's head let's head towards dome. Yeah, let's head towards dome, see what's going on up there. We're gonna get all the green crates on the top and they're gonna be full of guns. 
We're going to get enough scrap to buy a mini, and then we're going to go to Smoil. Hopefully, that's the plan. There's big old bases around here, though. It does make me a little bit nervous, if I'm honest. If I get all the way here and this is looted, I'll be really annoyed. Well, box there, that's a good sign. Okay, okay, okay. Worth. That was worth. Um, let's go recycle. Right, let's craft SMG bodies. Do I have any SMG bodies? Yes, I do. Right, so what's more cost effective? 10 high coil, 100 wood springs, or I think we'll go over SAR. Well, let's do one of each. Let's just do one of each, shall we? Having crafted my first couple of tier two guns, I decided now would be the time to head north, have a look at train yard and water treatment. There were some lock crates and some extra loot up there potentially, just to get out of my area and see what's happening elsewhere. But as I was on my way, Fate decided it wanted to intervene a little bit and change my plans for me. Be nice if that thing dropped to put the old airdrop right on me head though, that'd be nice. I'll drop it right there. That's not far away at all. Let's have a quick look in water treatment then we'll go and try and that try and get that. Or do I go for that first and then water treatment? I don't know if it's been called in or if it's just a random one. Do you think crate first? Yeah. I'll go and post up, see if we can hide somewhere. Camp it. Do you reckon it's been called in or do you reckon it's a random one? I didn't see any smoke on the way over it. You watch, it's going to be some giant uber base that's called it in, isn't it? I don't see any bases around here. These are the moments that I hate the most because I always think that someone's just creeping up behind me ready to blast me in the back of the head, you know? And I am miles away from my base. I'm not that far from outpost, but I'm miles away from my base. Is that another one coming? Right, I don't see any smoke from anywhere oh where did that come from bloody sun get out of the way where is he We must have got it. Where was he? Where was he? Oh no. That was always going to happen. Never mind. Never mind. That was always going to be a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Yeah, teammate holding the ball. I couldn't see though. That's the thing. Where the sun was, just couldn't see anything. Oh, yeah, do you know what? I, 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 was, I was quite impressed that I managed to kill him, considering I could barely see where he was. That's made me feel pretty good. And the rest of it is, well, it is what it is, isn't it? You know? Could be worse. Could be better. I'm going to make another Tommy, though, because I enjoyed shooting that. I enjoy the Tommy at the moment. Let's take another Tommy. Let's go water treatment. Get back on that grind. Oh, come on now. What the fuck? 
guarantee you, if I killed someone that close, I would have got absolutely crushed. Uh, so, that yet. Right, so I need to make some metal double doors. Campfire or sleeping bags? What is it? It's got a bit of campfire in it. Oh, oh come on. Oh, no, I can pick that one up. Sweet. Right, metal doors all round. That makes a difference. Bags are back down. I reckon I'm going to head back over. Where was I? I was going to go water treatment before. I don't know whether I should go back over there again. Seems busy. Seems like a busy area. Maybe we'll head back to the dome again. Let's take that flashlight off here. Because it's about to be night time. Right, let's go have a look around. Head back towards dome. See what happens. And then we can go from there. Once we know where we stand. Don't hear or see anyone, which is good. Good start. No crate at the bottom, which is uh, never normally a good sign. But there is crates inside, so it's a bit of a mixed bag. Mixed bag of expectations, I think. Someone down there harvesting a bear. The hedgerow, did I get him? I'm gonna go and check. I'm gonna go and check. Let's go and have a look. I don't know how juicy he's gonna be, if he even had anything. Where was he? Oh no! Come on, stand up. Stand up. Oh, there's someone running around. <gasps> Oh, that's a lot of metal. Right, let's get the F train out of here. Finally, the Rust Gods decided to give me a little bit of a win. That's nice of them. That's a lot of metal as well. That's a lot of metal. Oh, that guy's going to be so annoyed. God, if I was him, I'd be absolutely furious. Holy hell, I can't believe that's a lot of metal, man. That's exactly what I needed as well. That wasn't the, the same... I don't think that was the same guy that I killed first. The first guy that I killed was Prim. With, uh... He was, like, harvesting a bear. Oh God, I'm so happy I got that in. Oh. Come on now. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Next, I need to go to Outpost and cook this... Um cook this low grade up because I'm running out of stuff to make meds with. That's cooking that. That's right. So if they're cooking, I'll tell you the other thing I can do is upgrade some of this core as well. Why won't that let me upgrade that? Upgrade blocked? Why? Why is the upgrade blocked on that? Uh, right, we'll put those back in there. Let's go and cook this um, brood up and then we'll work out what we're going to do next. Need gears for garage doors. That's what I need. I can get, I've got one. I can put some, um, put some honeycomb on as well. I just want to honeycomb the TC room really, more than anything. I don't know how much longer I've got in me. I'm starting to feel a bit tired, but I wanted... There's a crate, a train yard. Maybe we'll go and try to train yard crate. Maybe we'll go and have a look at that. Going through woodlock, it's going out of fashion, man. And I, want to make, I want to make a garage door as well. Oh, do you know what? I like this raid one. Let's have that. Oh, the rad one, sorry. Let's go and do this honeycomb. Get things upgraded that need upgrading.
don't know what to do here. It is a very climbable base, but it is what it is. Like, I mean, this was a bit of a slapdash one, just while, I mean, I wasn't even intending on staying here, to be honest. It was just to throw down some stuff until I got enough for a main base, but I've kind of got a little bit out of control now, I suppose. Come on, get out. But we'll go, let's go run dome, because we got halfway up it last time and didn't get anything. Let's go finish dome, and then uh, we'll see where we are. It's weird that there's a gas station between launch site and outpost, and I haven't seen anybody here the entire time. Whatever that raid is, I'm going to have to run past it to get to dome, aren't I? wonder who or what that is. Oh my god. Um fuck me, fuck me, we had an AK. Um Um Jesus Christ. What is it with dome? He had a rocket launcher but no rockets. An AK what is going on? Am I running the right way? I'm not even running the right way. Another guy with a row of metal on him as well. Was that the same guy as before? I didn't even check. I, I didn't check his name. That guy's going to be angry. Because I know I would be if I was him. And depot it and go back, I suppose. Well, that was worth going to. Okay. Uh, box time. Right, let's go back over and see what's going on over by Dome because it seems to have been a little bit of a hot spot so far, you know? At least charcoal's not going to be a problem this time. That was the problem that me and Rusty had last time. Just it was hard to get charcoal, but it looked like we're going to be alright this time. So the military crate's still up there, which makes me think... Yeah, and the crates are still there as well, but it makes me think everything on the roof is still there as well. I keep thinking dearer people. What is wrong with me? Does anyone ever use that horse armour? Like the, the road sign stuff, does it ever get used? I don't think I've ever used it once in my life. It makes them go like two miles an hour. Not the best crates, but they'll do. Get the diesel lights here as well. That's outpost over there. Well, we've got some good stuff to uh, to recycle, if nothing else. We've got some rifle bodies for when I eventually land AK. How can I get back up? There we go. I was walking loot for some people earlier, but I seem to have been able to make it. Like, I, I had two bad deaths, two silly deaths. Well, no, one silly one, one unlucky one. But I've managed to, uh, to make up for that, I think. And it is, you're right, it's not mine until it's back in the base, so see how we get on. I just don't like this bit because it's so open. I might, when I've recycled this, I might have enough to, um, to grab a mini and run small. What I wanted to do, I wanted to grab a mini and run small before I got off. And it's up, and I might have enough scrap. We'll see. Bandit's quite a run. Bandit's as much of a run as Dome is. Maybe we'll go and try that, that crate at train yard before we do anything. More gears, that's what we need. Bloody scientist is still there. It's a point now where I think I've got more metal than I actually know what to do with. It's kind of crazy. There is still a crate at train yard. Maybe we'll go and have a look at that. Let's see if we can get this train yard crate. This is where I got clapped quite a lot earlier though on my way to train yard. So we'll have to be careful. There's another scientist over there. Honestly, there's been one here every time I've come past it. I think if I can get there, I'm hoping the crate, this crate hasn't been started. If I can get there and get up on top of that um, bridge gangway thing and just camp up. What the f***? The hopes no one else turns up. I'm up there all. Oh, it's already been, has it already been started or looted? Someone's just left nothing in it. Oh, God, I hate people. I absolutely hate people the most. 
That's so annoying. Why do people do that? Just why? Why though? Why leave one heavy chest plate in there? Why not just close it out so that the next one can spawn in in a little bit of time? Honestly, that's the one thing about this game that bugs me the most is when people do that. But the most, the most annoying one is like the oil rig ones. You think that oil's done, and then you get there, and all the scientists are dead, and someone's left a stone spear in the crate or whatever it is. It drives me nuts. A lot of nodes up here. I might have to remember this. A lot of metal. We're going to get our scrap, we are going to go and buy a mini, we are going to go to water treatment, we are going to get a red card, and then we're going to go and do some oil. And we're going to finish with a small oil run, and it's going to be glorious. I think the thing is though, like, I like, if it, like, running rig, if I, when I get that crate at the end, it feels like an achievement, you know? That's the thing with running rig. Let me go and get a blue card, and then we can, we can get this mission going. Um, yeah. Right, finishing rig feels like an achievement for me at least it does because it's not those heavies like even though you get a system for them and everything else like they're still it's not easy you know what i mean at least it's not for me it feels like a good sort of punctuation for the end of a day do you know what i mean like i've been around and got a couple kills and that here and there got some stuff together and you run a rig it feels like a like an exclamation mark on the end of the day do you know what i mean that's the way that i see it Right, so now get a mini. Back to back. See, this is the run that I'm not happy about. But it's got to be done. Run to bandit. Like, right, is there somewhere down here I can get a red? If not, is a. We'll come back here and gear up properly before we go to rig, so. Let's just hope we can get there in one piece. That's all I want. We've had a good run so far. A bit up and down, but it's overall been good. All I want to do is run this rig. Be happy to get off. I'll feel like I've achieved something, you know. Oh, a horse! What perfect timing! Right. Here we go. So nervous now. I'm gonna go from here to water treatment. No Sam sites. No shooters, please. Hope no one's been in here recently. Doesn't look like that. What? Rads? There's 20 year rads in here. Back to base. Back to base, gear up, off to Smoil. Done. Okay. Depot this lot, grab some more guns and ammo, and we will be out of here. Right, I'm going to take a fuse with me in case I need one to get into that other room. Take a load more meds, because... I suck at killing scientists well. Oh, please no sound sights. Please no sound sights. Oh, I don't see a boat. I don't see a mini, which is always a good sign. Jesus. 
three of them all up here at the same time. That doesn't seem fair, does it? Oh, fuck off. What is going on? What's going on with my aim today? What is going on with my aim? Is there any... There can't be any left up here, can there? Hopefully these guys have got some meds on them. Yeah, a flamethrower. That's what I need. Did I kill... I don't think I killed him, did I? Oh, no, yeah, I did. Do this one first. Uh, oh, I need to move the... I watched someone talking about doing it this way the other day, where they clear the top and then do the heavies. And it means that the scientists down below, there's, a, there's another sort of bodyguard for you, you know? It makes it harder for people to just rush up to the top while you're, uh, while you're taking the heavies, you know? If I'm lucky, they'll be glitched. Yeah, the crane on large is much better, you're right. Fuck! That's two. Three. Four. Five. Is there any left? Are there any heavies left? I think that's all of them, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's still one on the helipad. Gotta be all of them, right? Six. One, two, and then four down there. That's right. Alright, now I've just gotta clear the rest of them. I need I need some meds desperately, man. Come on, man. We snuck up from the other side, man. Sneaky little fuckbags. Oh, I need to get back there. I need to get back there. All right, this is going to be real close, but I think I can make it. And if I can't, then I'll just have to clear it again, won't I, I suppose? Complete waste of a red card if I have to do that, but... Is that a supply drop? That's a supply drop. This is going to be another one where someone's just left one thing in it, isn't it? Or not. Okay, that's a turn up. Nice, nice, nice. If I remember right, this bottom half of the map wasn't overly busy when we flew over it as well. So hopefully I can just sneak through and be completely unnoticed. Maybe next time I'll take out all the regular scientists first. Make life a little bit easier for myself. But it's not far from here. Provided I can get on this boat all right and get out there, no problem. Daylight should be coming as I get there. I've cleared more than half the scientists already. I think I'll be all right. I aim was particularly bad that run though. All right, let's go. Avenge myself. I'm assuming the crate hasn't reset because it hasn't come up on the screen and said that small oil has spawned. So I'm assuming that now I'm in the vicinity of it, it'll be all right. But I suppose we'll have to wait and see. Get him dead. Yeah, three headshots is enough. What is going on? Come on, man.
How many can there actually be left now? Uh, do you know what? I can't hear any more. Oh, no, I can. Oh, God, shit my pants, then. Absolutely shit myself, then. Go check on the crate before we do anything else. Ha <laughs> uh, ha Oh, C4. Um, chest plate. Don't I need? I'm not going to use a flamethrower. I don't need a spring. Let's just leave that for a minute. And then we'll check the rest out. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Get the best loot. And then get out of here. Mm -hmm. Even that made me jump then. Bloody cargo. I didn't loot the heavies either, did I? Um, no guns on any of them. That's disappointing. Right, let's get out of here. Well, that was stressful. That train yard crate's up. Maybe we'll go and have a look at the train yard crate quick as well. I mean, that's not a bad haul, is it? Metal chest plate, couple of guns, custom. C4 is big. 400 scraps, pretty big, considering I went there with, with none. Okay. Bikes, bodies, tech trash. Clothing. I'm going to have to make some more storage space at some point as well. The unbox is starting to look a little bit healthy. Did I leave my Tommy there? I left my Tommy there. Oh no, it must have despawned when I... Because I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It must have despawned. Those two can go in there as well. Right. Rain yard. I'm not doing cargo, man. I suck at cargo at the best of times. Let alone 4.15 in the morning. Oh, oh. Right, I'm going the wrong way. Can I land on top of that? I think I can. No one started it. Scientist over there. I don't see anyone coming either. Let's start it and see what happens. 15 minutes. I'm going to hide up here. And then hopefully, no one's going to come try and take this while I'm here. This is the bit that I'm like least happy with, is just the waiting. There should be a way to speed up these crates. Right, what have we got? MP5 AK, yeah, that's okay. That's not bad. We'll take that. MP5 AK. While flying back from train yard, I'd noticed that the crate was up on Smoil again, so I figured I'd fly back, do that, and that would end the stream. But when I was there before, I made one fatal mistake. Can you remember what it was? Take MP5 and AK, shall we? I haven't played with an AK at all this wipe so far. Okay. One more run for glory, ultimate glory, providing I've got enough low grade to get there. Laser sights on the MP5, so we're all good there. Can't forget to harvest as much low grade off here as I can to get back as well. Right, I don't see a boat, I don't see a heli, which is again a good start. But then again, I don't see any scientists either. I don't see any scientists. I don't see or hear. Oh no, did I leave? I left the thing in the crate, didn't I? I've come all the way here for the rifle body that I left in the crate. Like an idiot. Oh. Well, at least the crates have respawned. Ditched myself up. And how much was I saying earlier that I hated when people did that? So I can get some stuff to recycle, I suppose. And maybe. I'm really lucky. My Tommy will still be here. I guess one more small run for glory is off, is off the is off the table now. Oh, maybe large actually. All the way at the other end of the map though. Quite a trek. Let's get the scrap and the low grade, I think, and we'll get out of here. Is that going to follow me now? The entire oh no. Who's taking? Someone just got wrecked by Ellie. 
Oh, oh. It's just because I've got it's just because I've got clothes on, isn't it? I'm just going to hide it out most. What the hell? It's just gonna keep it's just gonna stay here until I leave. And then it'll kill me when I try and leave. Or oh, is it gone? There yeah, he's gone. Disappearing all the way out there. I have to build something to keep it in there, and I. I've got, I've got plenty of stone and metal. Let's um, let's build something to keep this mini safe, and then we'll get off. Right, five k wood should do it. So I've got to work out how to get up here now. Get out of here, sorry. Here we will put a little airlock. Dropbox in, or shotgun trap maybe in there, single door in there, and then double door go there. Then we can get in and out there, door, and then we'll do the bit out the front, that extra little bit of honeycomb out the front, and then we are diggity diggity done. like a little bit I'll put something in there maybe some furnaces or something so so let's go top down and we'll finish in here got a little heli spot here nice we've got our way out there's gonna be a shotgun trap in there when I eventually get one base on the hole is looking pretty good a little strange a little cobbled together but nonetheless looking pretty good and I've got no walls as far as I can see, that a soft side as well, which is kind of massive. So we come in here, up through there, into the heli bit. That's where the heli goes out. And then gun box is looking pretty good. We've got a couple AKs, some armor, oh, a couple full, uh, a couple metal chest plates on that, and all this stuff in here as well. I'm gonna lock all these boxes though, just. I'm convinced I'm going to get offline, so I'm just going to lock all these boxes just to make, apart from that one, that was just charcoal, just to make life a little bit more tricky for whoever. And that is me done. Everything's locked up. That's me out of here. Have a tremendous time doing whatever it is that you guys are doing, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.